Sometimes you want to create custom masks inside Create Studio 3, but you don't know how to do that because you're only limited to the existing shapes available in the software, just like the rectangle shape, the circle shape, or the triangle, and many other shapes available in the library. The problem with that is you're limited to the existing shapes, but if you want to create custom masks, well, you got to use something else. And luckily we have the pen tool that enables you to create custom masks and you can do magic with it because you can bring a whole lot static image to life using the pen tool by creating a lot of masks, just like the example that I'm about to show you. I just used one of the existing backgrounds available in the software and I brought it to life using the pen tool and other shapes. And so if you don't know how to use the pen tool, you're definitely missing a lot. And so I suggest you click on the link that's going to show up on the top right to learn about the fundamentals of the pen tool and how to use it. Then you can come back and start watching this tutorial to learn how you can bring this whole scene to life using the pen tool and other shapes to create advanced masks. And so before we dive deeper into this, I have an example that I want to share with you. Let's watch it and then come back to start creating. I hope you've enjoyed watching the example. Now let's dive into it and start creating from scratch and show you how you can easily use the pen tool and other shapes to create custom masks and animate them like a pro. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. So I'm going to take this off from the timeline and then I'll go to my studio, open up the backgrounds and I'll open up the drop down menu. Then I'm going to choose 3D and in the search bar, I'm going to type in beach hot so I can get the image that I'm looking for. We will have two. This is the one that I'm going to use. And you probably notice that I have created a lot of animations off of this static background. So like I said, this is a total static background. There is no way I can animate it or bring it to life other than, you know, using the great features available inside Create Studio 3 to enable you to bring this whole thing to life and engage with your audience. So I've animated most of the trees available in this uh, background to animate this one. I animated that one and then that one as well. And then I created a custom mask to animate those um, bushes on the left side and their shadows as well as the two images of the sea right here and right here. So I'm not going to go ahead and create all of those masks because this will take a, a long time. But I'm going to show you a couple of examples in terms of how you can use the pen tool to create custom mask and animate one of the trees. And I'll show you the same thing with the uh, C image right there. And then you can go on your own and create other masks for the rest of the image to bring the whole thing to life. So once we have our image ready, we are going to start by using the pen tool. And so we can activate the pen tool either by clicking on the plus sign that's going to show up on the top left and it's right next to the left panel. We can click on that and then we can activate the pen tool or we see that there's a shortcut if you're on Windows and it's going to be shift P that will activate the pen tool. Once you got it there, this is what you want to do. And the pen tool is so easy to use. So again, I'm not going to go ahead and explain how to use it. You can definitely go ahead and watch my previous tutorial about it and then come back to start using this one. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to create a custom mask using the pen tool. And I'm simply just going to draw a mask around the tree leaves right here. And for this one, because the leaves are not the same size. So we're just going to go random with all of these uh, shapes once we create them. And we want to make sure that we create some spikes, you know, just like how the image uh, of, of the leaves look like, just like this, and try to follow along the edges of your image. You don't have to be perfect, by the way, you just gotta create some random spikes and, and go around the edges of the tree leaves in order for you to create your mask because like i said this doesn't have to be perfect so that it looks natural when you create your animation and uh, have fun with this to engage with your audience and captivate your viewers so all i'm doing right now is i'm basically just drawing my custom path using the pen tool around the edges of the le tree leaves 
right here and then once i'm done then i'm going to connect the shape like this but let's just continue to draw around the tree right here to make sure that we have everything covered right there and then we can go on uh, there for that one and continue to draw our mask i'm not going to take care of the uh leaves on the left side um it's not really important but we will just go in there and then once you're done uh completing your path this is what you want to do you're going to have to look on the right panel and then click on connect shape to be able to connect your shape and this will be the end result now once you've connected your path lines what you want to do is go to your settings and don't forget about changing the border width from three pixels to zeros because we don't have, want to have any borders um, from the image and then when done this is what we're going to do we're going to make a duplicate of our background like that and then we're going to select the custom path that we created along with our duplicate image right click and then we want to mask these guys now we have an image of just the leaves of that tree so we can create our animation next i'm going to rename this one so i'm going to call it left tree right here and then now it's time for me to start creating my animation so to do that i'm going to use the wave effect and you can find that by going onto the left panel click on the effects and components tab and then scroll to the bottom you're going to see an amazing feature that is called wave if you haven't discovered it yet well now is the time for you to take a look at it and see how you can properly use it to create uh, waves and bring your scene to life. Next, we're gonna drag the wave effect onto our uh, duplicated image that we created right here. And then now we can start see something happening on our canvas. So what we wanna do is we wanna go to the right panel where we have our presets. We can simply click on start so we can see what the preview looks like. And while, while the preview is playing, you can make adjustments as far as your settings. So we're going to adjust the width all the way to um, 100. And then we're going to decrease the height to about one or two. Let's try two like that. And as far as the speed, we're going to decrease that from 20 to six like this. And now we can see that the tree leaves are more wavy and it's much incredible than what it was before just like you know using the static image it's just a static it's so boring to your audience but it's much much better when you bring your elements or objects to life using those effects and engage with your audience so once you've done that now is the time to start showing you how to create another custom path to animate the water of the sea right here. And then I'm gonna show you on the other one as well, at the bottom right there. So you can use, because this one we will use just a simple rectangle shape. And for that one, we're gonna need to create custom path using the pen tool. So I'm going to click on the plus sign one more time to, act, to activate the pen tool. And then from there, I can simply just start by creating my mask. I'm gonna start you know, with the easiest stuff. So I'm gonna go from the top of the C right there to create a straight line from here. And then I'm simply gonna go around the tree or the bushes leaves so I can create my custom uh, path right here to go around the edges. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you just need to try as much as you can. Uh, but again, you know, you're not um, supposedly to go perfect with this because you want to make it look natural in the end. And so once you're done with that, you gotta grab another straight line right about here and then we can go around the other bushes leaves right there and then we can create our animation from there once we completed our uh, path we're creating our custom mask then we can easily just connect the shape and then from there we can simply go ahead and have some fun with animation so now i'm going to click on connect shape now i've got my shape right there and the next step i want to do again i don't want to forget about changing the pixel of my border from three to zero you can find that under settings on the right panel change that to zero so you don't want because you don't want to have borders and then once you're done with that you're going to need to make another duplicate of your background so we're going to make another duplicate and we're going to select it along with our new path that we created right click and then we're going to click mask image with path. Now we have another image of the water or the sea right there that we can create animation. We can rename it as well. So we can just rename this one and call this sea uh, image one, for example, because we're going to have another one that's uh, going to be on the bottom right. And then once we're done, we can go back into our effects and components tab, scroll to the bottom, grab the wave effect onto it right here. 
and then we can see our preset settings opened up on the top right we can simply click on the preview to start to show what it looks like and then we can make adjustments so as far as the width we're going to increase that width a little bit more to something around 35 we're going to decrease the speed from 20 to uh, four percent like this and now it looks just stunning you have animated our c and it just looks amazing that way see this is the beauty of using custom masks and bringing your scenes to life and now once you're done now we, we want to create our um, animation for the c that shows at the bottom right and so to do this we're going to need to create a rectangle shape or grab a rectangle by hitting the shift key and a letter r to grab a rectangle then we're going to rotate it or tilt it a little bit to the left side like this and then we can simply just zoom out of our canvas to make sure that we have you know a proper uh, shape that's covering most of the c image um, it doesn't have to go to the very far of the edges because that's you know that's just part of the sand so we don't want to animate that part but once you're done you're going to go back again into your timeline and make another duplicate of your background then you're going to have that selected along with your rounded rectangle right click and then mask these guys next we're going to go back into our wave effect drag and drop that one right there you don't want to forget about renaming layer so you, you're, you stay organized so we're going to call this c image two right here and then now we can go back into our effects tab click on wave to activate the preset settings and once we click on start this is how it's going to look like so we're going to make adjustments to the width so we're going to increase the width to about 45 we're going to decrease the speed to about uh, four percent just like this and then we're good to go as far as direction and height it just looks fine but now you can you know take a look at it let's have a play and show you what that looks like uh, you can see how stunning that is and from there you can use like i said the pen tool to create stunning animations and take your animation to the next level by creating custom masks that you don't have to be stuck with the existing masks available inside the software uh, just like i showed you in the beginning of this tutorial using the uh, standard shapes rectangle circle square and so on but you can use or leverage the power of the pen tool to create custom masks and the last thing that i want to show you in this tutorial is creating uh we're grabbing the surfer guy uh, to you know enjoy the weather and how cool this summer is so we're going to go into our studio again back to the main menu click on the uh, characters and then we would click on the open down uh, drop down menu 3d and using the search bar we're going to type in surfer right here and we're going to grab this guy over there and so the action that we're going to choose is going to be sun bathing so we're going to choose that from the list sun bathing right here and he should be sitting the whole time so what we can do is we can extend this guy all the way make sure he is lined up with all the layers in the timeline then i'm going to flip him by clicking on the flip icon that shows above the character right here so i can flip him that way and then i can resize him right here right there just to be sure he's in the right proportionate just like that and then i'm gonna have to give this guy a little more depth because we can see that we have some shadows available in this background so we can add some depth to this guy so all i'm going to do is i'm going to make a duplicate of my character right here and then i'm going to grab a circle by hitting the shift and the letter r then i'm going to resize the circle to create a custom mask for for this guy right here and then i'm going to rotate this a little bit like that then all we need is to cover his legs right here and then once we're done we just need to select our character along with the rectangle right click and then we want to mask these guys so we're going to mask this one right here and then now we can select the character on the top right here and then we will go to settings find where it says shadows open that up and then we are going to create some shadows so we're going to add some distance right here and you can see we have about four pixels i'm going to blur it as well just like that so i'm going to make it even so we have four pixels blurred as well i'm going to need to change the direction of that as well to make it uh, about 243 just like that or actually let's make it 233 just like this 
and then now he we have some depth the reason i only masked the, the reason i masked the character just from the bottom legs is because i'm going to have some beach towel that we can add underneath this guy so he so he's not sitting or relaxing on the sand so we can simply just go back into our media folder open up the victizi integration click on the png tab and then from there we can use the search bar and then type in beach towel like this and then we can see a few we can just bring this one that's going to show up on the top right it's the first one that i'm going to use and then i'm going to grab the characters in the timeline one track above so i have an empty track underneath the character and now my image has been imported i can go back into my media folder grab this guy and drag it underneath the characters right here and then i can make adjustments so i'm going to resize it and just make sure it goes underneath this guy right here like that and it shouldn't be that big it just should you know it needs to be really small to something like this and and it just goes onto the edges of the shadow of his legs right here and then he should be good to go just like that so yeah this is how you can bring your image um, to life and then once you press play this is how it's going to look like and you can see you know the difference between the static image and the fully animated scene that we just created. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Man!